Apply the 10 cm comfort foam layer with minimal overlap. Proceed up the leg in a spiral technique with just enough tension to conform smoothly along the contours. If the bandage spiral does not conform with minimal overlaps, the bandage may be cut to redirect the application. The top of the bandage should end just below the fibula head or two fingers width below the crease at the back of the knee. Cut and using light pressure, mould to the anatomy. With the foot in 90 degrees dorsiflexed position, start the 10 cm compression layer application with a circular winding at the base of the toes, beginning at the fifth metatarsal head. Complete two or three figures of eight around the ankle, ensuring that the entire heel is covered. Proceed up the leg with 50% overlaps at 100% stretch, ending the application approximately 7.5 to 10 centimeters below the ending of the comfort layer. This will allow the comfort layer for the knee and thigh to overlap with the lower leg comfort layer for secure cohesion. As you end the application, apply light pressure and cut off the excess material. If bulges are noted after the application, apply additional compression layer until the limb appears smooth. Cut and mould. To continue the upper leg bandage application, select the 15 cm comfort foam layer and reposition the patient to a standing position. Flex the knee by placing a roll of bandage under the heel. Apply the comfort foam layer by minimally overlapping with the comfort layer below the knee. Cover the knee with a spiral or figure of eight technique to ensure that the middle of the bandage is positioned over the articulating surface and crease of knee. Proceed to the top of the leg. Keep the overlaps as minimal as possible. Cut and lift the apron to mould the application to the anatomy. Begin the 15 cm compression layer application with a 50% overlap of the below knee bandage. Cover the knee using spiral windings or figures of eight as needed to conform. Ensure that the center of the bandage is in the center of the popliteal crease and centered over the patella. Proceed up the leg with spiral windings with 50% overlap at full stretch. Ensure at least two layers of compression material with a smooth application.
cut and mould the entire application to conform to the anatomy. Using the 15cm or 20cm comfort foam layer, continue with circular windings to cover the thigh as proximal as possible at the inner side of the leg until thigh is covered. Continue by bringing a circular turn around the waist to position the material so the opposite hip is covered. When coming back across the apron, lift apron and take the material beneath the apron while moulding the application to the anatomy. Apply additional windings to fully support the apron as needed. End the comfort foam layer with a circular winding around the upper thigh. Cut and mould. Secure the end with tape. Apply the 15cm compression layer at full stretch with circular windings around the upper thigh. Continue application with circular windings across the opposite hip, lifting the apron to mould and conform. Apply additional windings to fully support the apron as needed.
cut and mold. Additional compression strips may be used to create a sling that provides additional support of the abdominal apron.